The Toto S550E Washlet and Brondel Swash 1400 are two of the best-selling bidet toilet seats available. Both are fantastic options for anyone looking to upgrade their bathroom. This comparison video is designed to help you decide which seat is best for you. We'll review the similarities and highlight the differences that make these two models unique. Let's start with a look at the physical design of these two units. The Brondel Swash 1400 has some curvature across the back when looking from above. The black remote control sensor is centered at the rear housing with three indicator lights below the sensor and a small Brondel logo below that. The Toto S550e is straighter across the back and has a lid that covers both the seat and the rear housing providing a more seamless look. On both the S550e and Swash 1400, you'll find the water supply hose and electric cord extending from the same side. This means that if you were facing the toilet, both the water supply hose and electric cord would extend from the left side on both of these models. We also note that the S550 is available in two different lid designs, contemporary or classic. This option gives you a bit more choice in selecting the aesthetic that you prefer for your bathroom. The Brondell Swash 1400 and Toto S550e are both elite bidet toilet seats. And as such, they share several features that would be expected in seats of this class. Both offer posterior and feminine wash functionality and water temperature. Water pressure and nozzle position can all be adjusted. They also offer oscillating wash modes, user presets, and adjustable spray width features. Other shared features include a heated toilet seat and a warm air dryer for use after washing. Both units also have an air deodorizer as well as a built-in nightlight that illuminates the toilet area for easier use at night. Let's look now at the differences between the Brondel Swash 1400 and Toto S550e. One notable difference is that the Brondel Swash 1400 has a weight-bearing lid you can sit on. Most bidet seats have lids which are not designed to support people sitting on top of them which gives the Swash 1400 a unique feature that some folks will find really useful. Another difference is in the wash nozzle. The Toto S550e uses a single all-plastic nozzle with multiple spray ports. The Swash 1400, on the other hand, uses twin stainless steel nozzles, one dedicated for feminine wash and the other dedicated for posterior wash. We also note that the Brondel Swash 1400 is available in both elongated and round sizes, whereas the S550e is only available in elongated size. The Swash 1400 is therefore the most popular choice for people installing their seat on a smaller round size toilet. Now let's look at some of the unique features found on the Toto S550e, starting with its thinner profile. The S550e has a more compact look since it measures just 5 inches at its tallest point in the rear. The Swash 1400 is a bit taller, measuring closer to 6 inches at the rear. So the S550e gets the check mark for a more compact, streamlined look when mounted on your toilet. The S550e includes an e-water toilet bowl misting feature. This sprays a mist of electrolyzed water to moisten the surface of the bowl, which helps keep the toilet bowl cleaner. The S550e also has an automatic opening seat and lid. While the Swash 1400 does have a slow closing seat, it doesn't automatically open and close like the S550e does. The remote control for the Toto S550e is double-sided, with the most commonly used buttons on the front. These buttons are notated with icons, and it's pretty easy to figure out their corresponding functions. Towards the bottom are some adjustment controls, as well as the user preset buttons. The back of the remote has an LCD display. This is where you can change temperature controls, program user presets, and adjust other settings. The Swash 1400 uses a single-sided remote with all its buttons on the front. The more commonly used buttons are found at the top of the remote with the adjustment controls in the middle. Like the S550e, user preset buttons can be found at the bottom. The warranty is another factor to consider when comparing bidet seats. The Brondel Swash 1400 comes with a three-year warranty, which fully covers the seat for the first year from your date of purchase. This is followed by a 75% coverage in the second year and 50% coverage in the third year. For an additional charge, an extended warranty plan is available that provides 100% coverage for five full years. The Toto S550e includes a one-year warranty. There is not an option for extended warranty coverage. 
While the Toto warranty is more limited, we note that Toto is the originator of the modern bidet toilet seat and has the longest track record of any other brand. The Toto S550e Washlet and Brondel Swash 1400 are both high-end bidet seats and come packed with many features. Picking which model is right for you will come down to the unique qualities that appeal to you most. The Toto S550e lets you choose between two different lid styles, has a slimmer, more compact profile, and its e-water misting feature helps keep your toilet bowl cleaner. It also has the automatic open and close seat and lid, which some folks will find quite useful. With the Brondel Swash 1400, it comes with a stainless steel nozzle. The weight-bearing lid you can sit on is another key feature which may make this model more appealing. Available in both elongated and round sizes, the Swash 1400 is compatible with more types of toilets, and some will feel more comfortable with Brondel's stronger warranty package. We hope you learned something new in this Toto S550e Washlet versus Brondel Swash 1400 product comparison video. To learn more about these and other products, visit us at bidetsplus.com.